Jaguar X type. Some seats that look brown. It's supposed to be ivory. This course then. I'm waiting for one of these to show you how well they clean up. Even the stitching look looks like black stitching. Let's get some shit out. All you need a scrubbing brush, some soapy water, which is watered down a hell of a lot. And these microfiber rags, these are the most important thing. If you were just had a wet microfiber rag, you could get this seat clean. It'd take you a hell of a long while, but you get it looking good. Scrub her up. have a already dirtied rag for taking the crap off and then a clean rag for the next scrub and then when that like rag's full of crap I'll exchange that one jet wash this one with a high pressure steam cleaner and the sun's come out Bit different, eh? Bristles on your scrubbing brush don't want to be too stiff and they don't want to be too soft. They need to work in the grains of the texture and the texture of the leather. Pull the crap out. So you want to wet it. Not long before you scrub it, just give it a quick dampening. On the back of the towel. Brush it in and then work your way around a little bit at a time so you're not getting the seat too wet. This is just a multi purpose cleaner, nothing too strong, just literally soapy water. You can use washing up soap, dish liquid. On the juice made it a little bit stronger. This is filthy.
most cars, well most brand new cars nowadays don't even come with hardly any leather in it but they'll tell you it's leather. These are vinyl sides and leather faces. The whole of the front's leather, all of the sides are vinyl. Vinyl scrubs are brand new, quick. That's it. Leather takes a little bit more work. Open the grains up. Some bristles get in there, but the lock is actually cracked. And final scrub once you beat the shit out of it. Final wipe, as I attempted to say. Once I've scrubbed it, you can wet it and use the clean rag to go over just to make sure you pick up any residue you've been scrubbing around. Doing this is much easier in the summer, in the winter when your fingers are freezing, the leather's all stiff. Right, you see me scrub one, I'm going to scrub the other. Once this one dries out, I'm going to come back and show you how to paint it. It doesn't look quite as bad. But it's still filthed. You can see the colour differences. See there where somebody's wiped it a bit. There's a little bit of a mark, I'll have to paint that in. That's scrubbed up pretty well. Something a similar colour now to the vinyl. I'll paint that blobbing. Have a look at the other seat now. I should get away with just painting this doesn't really need any leather filler it's just literally the surface come off usually Jaguars and Land Rovers are the same this is a Range Rover I did yesterday pretty damn close
few cracks up there. Stab on that seat. You can actually see a depression. Looks like a black spot from there which is the way it's reflecting the light. Really nicely. So yeah, when you're scrubbing microfibers and elbow grease. Don't be using no chemicals and Pushing the dirt into the pores of the leather, leather proper leather skin, and it does soak up and absorb things if the surface is slightly worn. And then if you put chemicals on there, so in England we use traffic film remover, we call it TFR. It's not what you want to be using. Yeah, it cleans it, but it will also turn your leather to cardboard.